What's up? It's RM, and I'm back with another edition. You know it. Mindset Monday. I've always been a big basketball fan. Like, my entire life, I've loved basketball. And my girlfriend, my wife now, but my girlfriend at the time, she knew that. So, our freshman year of college, we're only four hours away from Cleveland. And she surprised me for my birthday with some tickets to watch Kobe play LeBron at home. <laughs> we went deep. Well, I was excited. She was, she was happy that I was excited. But we're on our way up to Cleveland. And I, we're talking about the game, how sweet it's going to be. And we finally get to the arena. We pull in. We walk through the arena. We sit down at the seats that she got, which was awesome. And we're watching the warm up and knocking down shots and doing reverse layups. It was unbelievable. And the game tips off. And it was great. Just, you know, look, Kobe doing his thing, LeBron doing his thing. And I'll never forget, I look over at my wife and she's kind of like, I said, what's wrong? She says, I'm sorry. I said, what are you sorry for? She said, I'm sorry because I think I brought you to a bad game. I said, what do you mean? She said, we're missing a lot of shots. I didn't think they missed shots like that. And I had to take a moment. I was like, oh, that's what it is. See, she doesn't watch basketball games all the way through. She doesn't know that they don't shoot 100% from the field. She doesn't know that because she'll watch the top 10 plays with me when they're, you know, dunking and 360 windmills and all that crazy stuff. She doesn't realize that, hold on, they don't play that well. They miss shots. They're not perfect. See, the highlights will tell you something different, though. And that's right now with the lives that we live with social media, with us looking at people from a distance, some of the top influencers in the world. We look at their Instagram feeds, right? We're looking at their snaps, and we're comparing our lives to their highlight reel. They don't post their worst pictures. They post their best pictures. They post their best videos, and we then compare that to our lives, and we get discouraged. We think less of ourselves because our lives don't look like their highlights. It's never going to. You know that. You're not perfect, but they're not perfect. Just like some of the people you look up to, just like you had a little, you know, bickerment with your spouse last night, or you woke up with a little snuffy nose. They did too. They're not perfect. Don't stop looking at people's highlights. And I'm not just talking about on social media. I'm talking about in life. You know, the people that you go to church with and you really admire their marriage from a distance. I'm sure they have a great marriage, but it's taking time to get there. They still have little disagreements. When you look at a business and someone's taking 20 years to build and it looks good now, but 10 years ago, they had to file for bankruptcy. Come on. We have to understand, stop comparing your life to somebody else's highlights. You will always be discouraged. It will never give you the ability to have the confidence in yourself to move in the direction that you want to move in. So I need you to stop doing that. Understand that people aren't perfect. You're not perfect. And that's what makes us so sweet. Anybody can start. I need you to start. So stop looking at highlight reels and start working on your own highlight. Come on, this is Darren. Take this message, apply it to your life, and create something special. You know where to find me. I'll get you soon. I'm out.